Hi everybody and welcome, my name is David from the technical team at DMS. Today's video is an introduction to the Superstatic 470 heat meter. Should you have any questions at all, please feel free to get in touch with our sales team in the office or leave us a comment on the video below. The Superstatic 470 is manufactured by Sontex and it uses their same fluid oscillation principle that you'll find in their other Superstatic heat meters. Uh, the main function of the 470 though is to be installed on heat pump installations. Uh, the use of this meter alongside four single phase electric meters, each of which uh, pulse their readings into the main display unit of the 470. Uh, by collecting all of this data and the heat uh, energy that is produced by the heat pump, uh, this meter can actually produce results for the seasonal performance factor or known as the SPF and it can do that on a yearly, monthly, daily rate. It can be shown on the display and it can also have outputs to send that data further in a data communication network. Uh, but by using the same fluid oscillation principle that you would find on the 440, 449, 749, 789 heat meters, uh, this meter can be used with glycol in its uh, measuring medium uh, without compromising on accuracy. And speaking of the accuracy of the unit, it is MID class two. Uh, this allows the unit to be used for commercial and domestic RHI installations. So not only can you measure the SPF of your heat pump installation, you can also submit readings to the RHI for government payback on your renewable heat source. Uh, the 470 is available from 15 mil to 40 mil with a screwed BSP connection like the one I've got in front of me here. We supply unions with each one of those meters. And then for larger sizes from 50 mil up to 150 mil, uh, the meters are supplied with PN16 flanges instead. Each meter comes with a pair of temperature sensors as standard, varying in their probe length to uh, equal the size of the meter that they're supplied with. And of course, a pair of sensor pockets for the installation as well. Uh, these meters require a 230 volt mains power supply for their operation, so just make sure you've got that available on site when installing them. And they can go in both horizontal or vertical runs of pipe. Generally, they will be calibrated for installation on the return, but as ever with the other uh, superstatic heat meters, we can reprogram them for flow installation if preferred. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please stay subscribed to DNS for all future content and videos, and we shall see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.